The Muslim World League (MWL), Arabic: Rabbalam al-Islami, Rabbitat al-Alam al-Islami, Arabic pronunciation: Ra, Bit at al a Lami al-Isla, Mij, is pan-Islamic NGO based in Makkah, Saudi Arabia, that propagates Islamic teachings. The NGO was funded by the Saudi government from its inception in 1962, with that contribution growing to approximately $13 million by 1980. Because of the Saudi funding, the League is widely regarded as promoting Wahhabism. The Oxford Dictionary of Islam says that the group has acted as a mouthpiece for the Saudi Arabian government, which finances it. Muhammad bin Abdul Karim Isa is the general secretary. The organization propagates the religion of Islam, encouraging dawa and conversion of non Muslims, and promotes apologetics against criticism of Islam. The organization funds the construction of mosques, financial reliefs for Muslims afflicted by natural disasters, the distribution of copies of the Quran, and political tracts on Muslim minority groups. The League says that they reject all acts of violence and promote dialogue with the people of other cultures, within their understanding of Sharia, but they are no strangers to controversy, having been the subject of several ongoing counter-terrorism investigations in the U.S. related to Hamas, Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups. The League founded the International Islamic Relief Organization in 1978. Topic. History The Muslim World League was founded in accordance with a resolution adopted during the meeting of the General Islamic Conference, which was held in Mecca on 14 Dhul Hijjah 1381 Hijra, corresponding to 18 May 1962. Following a meeting of 22 Muslim religious leaders held in 1962, the Muslim World League saw the light under the auspices of then Crown Prince Faisal. Topic: <inaudible> Objectives. Formation of Islamic public opinion regarding the various issues of concern to Muslims, within the guidance of the Holy Quran and the Sunnah. Combating ideological incursions and aberrant thought. Advocating the freedom of preaching to the path of God. Striving to protect mosques and mosque properties against attack. Preserving Islamic endowments. Defending the rights of the Muslim minorities. Topic. Charter We the members of the Muslim World League, representing it religiously, hereby undertake before God, Almighty to discharge our obligation towards God, by conveying and proclaiming His message all over the world. We also reaffirm our belief that there shall be no peace in the world without the application of the principles of Islam. Invite all communities to vie with one another for the common good and happiness of mankind, establish social justice and a better human society. Call upon God to bear witness that we do not intend to undermine, dominate or practice hegemony over anyone else. Hence, in order to further these goals, we intend to unite the ranks of the Muslims, and remove all divisive forces from the midst of the Muslim communities around the world. Remove obstacles in the way of establishing the Muslim World Union. Support all advocates of charitable deeds. Utilize our spiritual as well as material and moral potentialities in furthering the aims of this charter. 
unify efforts in order to achieve these purposes in a positive and practical way. Reject all the pretenses of ancient as well as contemporary jahiliya attitudes of the pre-Islamic era. Always reaffirm the fact that Islam has no place for either regionalism or racism. Topic. Means of furthering the goals Calling on individuals, communities and state entities to abide by the rules of the Sharia Islamic law. Coordinating the activities of Islamic activists in the world. Enhancing the methods of Islamic propagation in conformity with the Holy Quran and the Sunnah. Raising the standard and productivity of Muslims in the fields of media, education, dawa and culture. Organizing seminars and refresher courses. Taking advantage of the Hajj seasons to bring Muslim intellectuals together, and encourage the exchange of views among them. Supervising the activities of the Fiqh Council. Supporting efforts to promote and raise the standard of the Arabic language. Establishing Islamic Bureau and centers to further Islamic purposes. Providing people affected by war and natural disasters with emergency relief. Helping activate the role and the maintenance of mosques. Topic. Jurisdiction Laying down plans designed to revive the role of the mosque in the fields of guidance, education, preaching and provision of social services. Publishing the «Message of the Mosque» periodical, which deals with finding ways and means of raising the standard of the cultural as well as technical efficiency of the imams and the khatibs. Publishing Islamic books and pamphlets. Conducting a comprehensive survey of the world's mosques and publishing the information gathered in book form and in the shape of periodical bulletins. Selecting and posting groups of well-qualified preachers on guidance missions throughout the mosques of the world. Organizing local or regional refresher courses to enrich the culture of the imams and the khatibs and to raise the standard of their efficiency. Formation of board of directors to supervise the affairs of each and every mosque at the national as well as the regional levels. Studying the ideas and patterns of behavior that contravene the teachings of Islam. Helping in rehabilitating and training imams and khatibs for posting to the various Muslim areas to lead Muslims in prayers, deliver sermons and guidance lessons. Topic. Organization structure. The WSCM consists of 40, 40 members representing Muslim peoples and communities around the world. Members function voluntarily, without salary or remuneration. Topic: The Secretariat General. The Secretariat General of the Muslim World League is the executive wing of the organization. It supervises the day-to-day -day activities of the League, and implements the policies and resolutions adopted by the Constituent Council, under the direction of the Secretary General, the Assistant Secretaries and the General Staff. The Secretariat's headquarters is located in Om al Jud, Saudi Arabia. Topic. Activities Topic. 
The General Islamic Conference The General Islamic Conference is the highest policy-making body that expresses the feelings and aspirations of Muslim peoples around the world. It is the source of the League's legitimacy and capacity as the spokesman of Muslims worldwide. The GIC consists of leading Islamic preachers and activists who meet annually to review major issues facing Islam and Muslims and to find appropriate solutions for the realization of Muslim interests and aspirations. The GIC has met on several occasions so far as follows. The General Islamic Conference, held its first meeting in the year 1381 Hijra 1962, and passed the resolution to establish the Muslim World League. The General Islamic Conference held its second meeting in the year 1381 Hijra 1965, and issued recommendations supporting the idea of the Islamic solidarity, removing from its path, obstacles such as lack of commitment to religious commandments, sectarian prejudice, and conflict of regional interests, foreign influence and alien thought. The General Islamic Conference held its third meeting in the year 1408 Hijra 1987 and adopted a significant recommendation on the need to believe in the sacredness of the two holy mosques, glorify holy Makkah, the sacred months, Hajj rituals and the responsibility of the Muslim ruler of the two holy mosques to establish security therein. The General Islamic Conference held its fourth meeting in the year 1423 Hijra 2002 and passed resolutions concerning the Ummah worldwide Islamic community, Dawah Islamic propagation, globalization and other issues concerning Muslims. It also issued the Makkah Charter for Islamic Action, a statement on Palestine and a decision to for a higher body for coordination and an international forum for Muslim scholars and intellectuals. In 1974, the League declared that Ahmadis and related groups are out of the fold of Islam, banned from the Holy Lands and should be boycotted socially, economically and culturally in 2015. Abdallah ben and Abdul Mohsen at Turkey spoke on behalf of the speakers at the conference and commenting on the violence caused by Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, he said, the terrorism that we face within the Muslim Ummah and our own homelands today, is religiously motivated. It has been founded on extremism, and the misconception of some distorted Sharia concept. Topic. The Constituent Council The Constituent Council is the highest authority in the Muslim World League. The Council consists of about 60, 60 prominent Muslim scholars representing Muslim peoples and minorities. Members are appointed according to the decision of the Council. The Council endorses plans adopted by the Secretariat General. Membership The prospective member of the Constituent Council must be active in the field of Islamic propagation. Topic. Meetings The Constituent Council meets periodically to review research works and issues submitted either by the Secretariat General or by three members of the Council and to adopt appropriate resolutions. The Council may also provide governments and communities with advice and counseling in the service of Islam. Members function voluntarily. They receive neither salaries nor remunerations. Topic. The World Supreme Council for Mosques The WSCM has an independent legal personality. 
It aims at reactivating the mission of the mosque as a vital focal point of the religious as well as the temporal life of the Muslim. Ultimately, the WSCM aims at restoring the mosque's role to what it was during the early days of Islam. It also strives to protect mosques and Islamic trusts against assault, and to maintain the sanctity and purity of the mosque. The WSCM was founded in compliance with a resolution adopted by the Message of the Mosque Conference, which was held in Holy Makkah during the month of Ramadan 1395 September 1975 under the auspices of the Muslim World League. Topic. Halal certification The MWL has a number of regionally based Islamic cultural centers that oversee the certification of halal meat products in various countries around the world. Only meat approved by MWL affiliated centers can be imported to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Much of its work in this field is organized through the International Islamic Halal Organization, a constituent body of the MWL founded to spread awareness of the importance of halal foods. Topic. Aid for stranded Pakistanis In 1988, the Muslim World League together with Al Fala and Heed International, came forward and established semi-puka houses for the Biharis in Bangladesh. Topic. Publications The Muslim World League publishes the monthly journal of the Muslim World League in Arabic and English. It also publishes a weekly news of the Muslim world. Topic: International affiliations. The United Nations Organization, observer in consultative status with the ECOSOC. Organization of the Islamic Conference, observe status in attendance at all meetings and conferences. ISESCO, member. UNICEF, member. UNHCR, the MWL has contributed $1 million to the UNHCR to support refugees worldwide. Topic. Controversy In October 2001, Newsweek writer Evan Thomas reported that Two interrelated global charities directly financed by the Saudi government the International Islamic Relief Organization and the Muslim World League, have been used by bin Laden to finance his operations. The organizations were left off the list of groups sanctioned by the United States last week, U.S. officials hinted to Newsweek, in order to avoid embarrassing the Saudi government. According to the Anti-Defamation League, the MWL has frequently been a platform for anti-Israeli rhetoric. In 2008, it invited Yusuf al karadawa to speak at their first International Islamic Conference on Dialogue in Mecca in June 2008. During his speech at the conference, he said he would never sit with Jews on one platform and never hold dialogue with those Jews who have committed injustice against us and support Israel. <laughs> 